Hi Gigi, how you doing? I'm going to answer this in a short little video. Um, again, this is the problem set one, problem number eight, I believe. Um, there's going to be three parts to this all together, all of them looking at measures of spread for the data. And you're given the data up here. And the first measure of spread that they wanted you to calculate was the range. And you got that correct. It was The range is just the largest number minus the smallest number. Second one they're going to want you to calculate is a sample standard deviation. And we know this is a sample standard deviation because it's an S. S for standard deviation, and S, since it is a Roman letter, is going to be for the sample. Um, they're also going to have you calculate the sample variance. Remember, the sample variance is always the square of the sample standard deviation. Now, we could do this by hand on a calculator, or we can use StatCrunch to do this. And I've already opened up StatCrunch, completely blank. Now, all I have to do is put the data in here. Here are the data points, 3960, hit enter to move down, 4100, 3100, 3100, 2940, 3840, 4100, 40, 4020. And there's the data. Now we're going to want to analyze the data. So go into Stat, click on Summary Stats, Columns, because our data is in a column, and then left click. That's our column, and Compute. And it gives us all these summary statistics. It tells us the name of the variable, which I didn't change the name, it's just var1 n is the sample size, the mean is x bar, so the mean of the data is 3645. There's the variance, we're going to need that next. Standard deviation, that's what we got to put in now. Standard error is just the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. The median is the middle of the ranked values when you rank them from lowest to highest. The range is the largest number minus the smallest number. Min is the minimum, max is the maximum. Q1 is the first quartile, Q3 is the third quartile. Q1 is, the, uh, is a value such that 25% of the data is less than or equal to it. Q3 is the value for which 75%, three quarters, of the data is less than or equal to. So approximately three quarters of the data is less than or equal to 4060, and approximately one quarter of the data is less than or equal to 3100. That's why they're called quartiles. But the numbers that we're going to need are the standard deviation for this part, and then for variance, which is the next. And all we have to do is type them in correctly. Notice it says round to one decimal place is needed. So we need to make sure that we type in 504.7. And then for the variance, it's probably also going, I don't know what it's going to have you round to, but round that one correctly as well. And that's it. Having StatCrunch do the calculations for you makes this so much easier. And the hard part is just getting the data into StatCrunch. Hopefully this helped. Talk to you later. Bye.